The first thing about answering questions to do with quadratic sequences is to even understand why they're not normal sequences. And here you can tell they're not normal sequences because the numbers go up by different amounts. In fact, from 7 to 9 it goes up by 2, 9 to 4, 13 goes up by 4, 13 to 19 goes up by 6, and 19 to 27 goes up by 8. In a normal sequence, or an arithmetic or linear sequence, they would go up by the same amount. OK, so once we've found out what the difference between the numbers are, if they're not the, the same number, we do the double difference. And that's the difference between the differences. So between 2 and 4, the number's 2. 4 to 6 has a difference of 2. And 6 to 8 has a difference of 2. If this happens, we know it's a quadratic sequence. What we do then is we half this number. So half of 2 is 1. And that tells me it's going to be 1 n squared, or just n squared. OK, if, the, if that number was 4, we'd half it and we'd get 2 n squared. OK, so it's really important that you do the next two steps in the correct order. What you need to do first of all is write out your original sequence. Now our original sequence was 7, 9, 13, 19 and 27. What we do then is we write out the n squared sequence. And we're writing out the n squared because that's what we've just worked out in the previous part of the, of the question. OK, so the first term will be 1 squared, which is 1. The second term will be 2 squared, which is 4. 3 squared is 9. 4 squared is 16. 5 squared is 25. It's really important you do it this way round writing the original sequence first and then the n squared. OK, the next step is just to do top line, take away the second line. I'm just going to make a little note here that we're going to now subtract. OK, so 7 take away 1 is 6, 9 take away 4 is 5, 13 take 9 is 4, and so on. And whatever we're left with, after we've done that subtraction, we then just need to do normal nth term on that. Now the method that I teach is to use the dino rule, the difference, the n, and the one before. So using that on this rule, on this linear sequence, using the dino term, the dino rule, the difference is minus 1. So we'll write minus 1n, or minus n, and then the one before, which would appear here, the one before in this sequence would be positive 7. That's because these numbers are all going down by 1, and 7 subtract 1 would be 6. OK, so we just do a normal nth term after we've done that subtraction. Now the two parts of our answers just need to now be combined to get our final answer. So the first part of our answer was n squared. The second part of our answer was minus n add 7. Now to check it works, we can just substitute in one of our values. So let's say for the third term, we can do 3 squared, which is 9. Take away 3, that makes 6. Add 7 makes 13. And you'll see that the third term is 13. Again, for the fifth term, 5 squared is 25. Take away 5 is 20. Add 7 is 27. And that's what we've got. So those steps again work out the differences the double differences, halve it, and it's that many number of n squareds, and half of 2 is 1, so we've got 1 n squared. Then write out your original, your n squared sequence, and then subtract. The top take the bottom on each line. Do normal nth term on what's left, and put the two parts of your answers together to give you your final solution. OK, so here's one for you to do. As always, pause now before we go through the answer. Step 1, find the differences. As the differences are not the same value, we need to do the double differences. These values are the same. So now we know it is an, a quadratic formula, a quadratic sequence. We need to half this value and it'll be that many n squareds. Half of 4 is 2, so it's 2n squared. 
Now start by writing out your original sequence. Underneath that you need to write down the 2n squared sequence. Now this means 2 multiplied by n squared. So the first value will be 1 squared which is 1, doubled is 2. The second value will be 2 squared is 4, doubled is 8. The third value will be 3 squared is 9, doubled is 18. 4 squared is 16, doubled is 32. 5 squared is 25, doubled is 50. Now do the original takeaway 2n squared, or top row takeaway bottom row. And then finally do normal nth term on what you've got left. Which is minus 2n add 8. Put the two parts of your answer together. And we've finished 2n squared minus 2n add 8. Let's again just check for one of our uh, values. Let's to check the, the third one, which should be 20. So 2 lots of the third number squared minus 2 lots of the third number add 8. So our third number is obviously 3, our third term. So 3 squared is 9, doubled is 18. 2 times 3 is 6, so 18 minus 6 is 12. Add on 8 gives us 20, and that's what we were wanting. So we know our answer is correct.